I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Command them to the abyss. Say go, good morning, Holy Ghost. Good morning, Holy Ghost. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. I I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Take over me. Take over me. Take over me. Lead me. Lead me. Lead me. Guide me. Guide me. Guide me. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Bring my blessings today. Bring my blessings today. Bring my blessings today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this morning, it's a privilege to find ourselves in the presence of God, finding ourselves praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's a privilege to pray. Because think about it. You know, we have got a privilege to talk to the greater than the greatest, mightier than the mightiest, Amen. Ocean divider, miracle worker. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Um, it's quite a privilege that we find ourselves having an opportunity to talk to God, to the Amen. Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. Sure. Amen. You only realize that it's a privilege to be able to, to talk to God when you have an appointment that you will have to make with someone who is a human being. Maybe because of their positions, they are too busy and they don't have a slot to see you. They are too busy, they don't have a slot to see you. Then, with the Almighty God, who is the God of heavens, the creator of heaven and earth, who is still the God of heaven and earth? Who is still the God of heaven and earth? But, no matter how big he is, as he's busy all over the world, Omnipotent Amen. God and omniscient God, He is able to be everywhere at the same time. He's able to be everywhere at the same time. Just because He is God, but if He was not God, today we will be saying that he's, we are praying. We are seeking Him, and He will be somewhere busy and say, I can't see you now. I'm still busy with this one. But because he's God and he's almighty God, he can be in billions of places at the same time. Amen. He can be at a billion of places at the same time. Actually, when we are talking about billions of places, we are just, we are just trying to count. But in reality, it can be in uncountable places at the same time. Amen. That's why he is God. The Bible says that, that's why the Bible says that where two or three gather in my name, there I am in their midst. 
That means everywhere where people gather in his name. Everywhere where people gather in his name. Jesus said that there I am with them. He is able to be there. Amen. He's able to be there. With two or three gather in his name. He's not saying uh, only hundred places. Only a thousand places. But he's talking about as long as they can gather in his name, he will come. And all of us, wherever we are, no matter how many we are, everywhere we are able to feel his presence. All of us. All of us, no matter where you are, he's, you are able to feel his presence and he's able to perform miracle in all those countless places. That's why he's not a man and he's God. Then what a privilege to have the God that we have. What a privilege. If you think about it, if you think about it, there are some people who are worshipping an idol. Unfortunately, if an idol is here, if an idol is here, it can't be everywhere at the same time. People go there only where it is. That's where the idol is, where, the, where we are talking about an idol. Sometimes if it's a shrine, they only have, got a, have to go to that shrine physically. But if you're talking about an almighty God. The Bible says that if two or three come together in my name, there I am in their midst. He's able to be everywhere. He where he is needed not only where two or three come together in his name, everywhere where he's needed, Amen. even at the place where he's not needed, Amen. because he's God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 What a privilege we have to have the God like we have. To be able to talk to God whenever we want to. To be able to meet him whenever we have to. Sometimes you are meeting with God without even booking an appointment. But you are able to meet with him. What a privilege. That's why we say, God, you are awesome. You are wonderful. You are glorious. Amen. There is no one like you. Amen. We thank him for who he is. It's marvelous. We thank him for what he, for what he is. The Bible says that in heaven. The Bible says that in heaven. There are 24 elders who are worshipping there with the vision of re- of John at the book of Revelation. And these angels are going like you are holy. Angels are going like you are holy. Also the 24 elders are worshipping him. The similar thing with the vision that Isaiah had. Isaiah says, he saw this angel, the seraphims. Also they were saying that he is holy. They look at him, he blows their mind because he's so awesome. He's so glorious. He's so wonderful. He's more than enough. Amen. What a privilege just to be able to worship him. Just to be able to fellowship with him. What a privilege. David says that I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God to sp- than to spend a thousand elsewhere. David realized to say that what a privilege we have 
how glorious it is to be able to pray Amen. to the Almighty God, to be able to spend time in His presence. What a privilege we have. But you know, you can only go like what a privilege by when you have got a revelation. If you don't have a revelation, you think, oh, is it, is it so awesome to pray? Is it wonderful to spend time in the presence of God? And actually some, they don't even understand. Why do you spend hours talking alone? Why do you spend time In the service, why do you spend time in the service? And the problem is they don't understand, they don't have a revelation. That's when you talk about revelation. Revelation enables you to see beyond the obvious, beyond the obvious, beyond the physical, to understand things that other people don't understand, to see things that you, others cannot see. Even if we are talking about the revelation of John, the Bible says that physically John was in the island of Patmos. It was not as if he goes to the other place physically. No, he was here, but he was seeing things Amen. that people can't see, other people can't see. It was revealed to him things other people can't see. It's a similar thing when I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. When you begin to realize who he is. It's when you realize beyond the obvious. Beyond the physical and you begin to see him as a Lord. And your Savior. The Bible talks about one day. Jesus Christ asked his disciples. As he asked his disciple, he said that, who do people say I am? Who do people say I am? The Bible said that some say that you are Jeremiah. Others say that you are one of the prophets. Others say that you are Elijah. And the Bible said that Jesus said, what about you? What about you? Who do you say I am? What have you understood? Have you caught a revelation? You know, he was kind of like asking, why are you following me? Did you get the revelation? You know, because there, there, there was like what you are hearing, there was different speculations. As one of the prophets. Was he a prophet? He was more than a prophet. Was Elijah? No. Was he Jeremiah? No, he was not. Say, so, what about you? He asked, what about you? Who do you say I am? Why is he asking? He's asking to revelate. Did they get the revelation? Are they following out of wrong reasons? Amen. Are they following out of wrong reasons? Because if they are following out of wrong reasons, you will see when the revelation begins to be tough, they will run away. Amen. Then the Bible says that out of those disciples who were there, Peter said that you are Christ, you are the Son of the Living God. Simon, in verse number 16 of Matthew chapter 6, Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Oh, Jesus said that, oh, Simon, son of Jonah, this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. This was revealed to you by my Father in heaven. 
Amen. Simon of Jonah, this is a revelation. And mm. you know, it, it, it did not mean that others did not have a revelation. They had other revelations which were not true. But now for him to get this revelation, so that, now this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. This was revealed to you by my Father in heaven. This is a revelation. That's what he said. This is a revelation. A mere man cannot grab this. Mere men, they will say that, oh, he's, he's faking it, he's faking it. Those are Pharisees. Jesus, no, he's, he's not, he's a blasphemer. He's a blasphemer. Mere men were like, we have to arrest him. No, 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 he can't continue like this. This blasphemer. This fake prophet. Mere men. No, he's a fake prophet. That was the mere man. But Jesus said that. Simon, son of Jonah, this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. But because this was revealed to you by my Father in heaven, it was a revelation. Because it was a revelation. Because imagine. Imagine if you stay. In Bethlehem, or you stay in Nazareth, you will be knowing him as the son of Mary. And, beca and because you saw Mary stays with Joseph, you see, remember, if you, if, if you were born and raised in Nazareth, you see, okay, uh -uh, we know him. How? What do you mean you know him? Yeah. On that house, there is a mother there. The mother there is Mary. The father there in that house is Joseph. Then he's the son of Joseph. He's the son of Mary. That's what they will say that we know about. What are you talking about? Jesus? No, no. We went to the same school. As we went to the same school, we know. Even the day that the parents used to come, Mary used to come. Joseph used to come. Yes, he's the son of Joseph and Mary. Physically, you will think that is that her. That's how it is. But was it that so? No! It was not so. Revelation say that he's the son of the living God. He is the Messiah. He's the anointed one. He's the Emmanuel. God is with us. That is because of revelation. And that is only because of a revelation. Without a revelation, you will see him as an ordinary man. You will see him as an ordinary person. But by revelation beyond the natural knowledge, that's Amen. when Peter begins to grasp. He's grasping that this is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Then, you know, we need to walk with God by revelation. Christianity is a spiritual walk. It's not a physical walk. It's a spiritual walk. If you need to walk with Jesus Christ, we need to walk with him by revelation. Walking Amen. with the revelation so that we can see him to be who he is in spirit. Because God is not looking for those who are going to worship him in physical. Amen. He's looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Who will be able to, A, to, well, the spiritual becomes a reality. Amen. That's what Christianity is all about. That's what Christianity is all about. Other people will be telling you, okay, you believe that there is heaven. You say, yes, you believe that there is heaven. You believe that there is angels. We believe that there are angels. Mm -hmm. We believe that there is heaven and heaven is real. 
They said, no, we have, we have got a group of scientists. Scientists, some of them like Mark Shackleworth. Those who have gone even to the space, they have never seen heaven. At least those who are geographic, geographical, who have studied space, they have seen planets out there. Which one is heaven? Then, you know, to those, because they are trying to, to try to figure these things out, out of physics. But they are, they are not supposed, you don't figure these things out of physics. You figure these things out, you connect by revelation. Because even you who is a human being, you are not a body. Today when we see each other, it may be as if you are bodies. So oh, I can see him, I can see her, we can take a photo. That's good. But the day is going to come. Even it's a reality to the others. When the body and the spirit will separate and the body dies. Then they will realize, oh, the body is still here. But this person is no longer alive. What have happened? Because life is beyond the physical. Life is spiritual. Also heaven, it's where that spirit goes. When Amen. you check out if you're born again. Mm-hmm. If you're not born again, unfortunately, that spirit, when it, che- it checks out of the body, it goes to other spiritual place, which is called hell. But what am I trying to say to us this morning? I'm trying to say that, you know, we walk with God by revelation. As a Christian, we are people of revelation. We are people of revelation. That's what the Bible says that we don't walk by faith. we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. And faith comes by hearing the word of God. And hearing the word of God. The word of God, which is all of it revelation. I want to tell Amen. you that the word of God from Genesis to Revelation is a revelation. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. It's a revelation. Amen. That's what the Bible says, that God is a spirit. And his worshippers must worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. Today, if there are those who are walking in physicals, and you, talk, you, you tell them that about God, because the problem with God, you can't see him, he's a spirit. You can't see him then their problem is that there is no place where you're going to say, let us go, let us go and see God. You can't see him. You can't say on the physical, let us go and see God. Why? He's a spirit. Then the, the whole word of God is talking about God and is God speaking. Who's what? Who is a spirit? That's why the whole Christianity is based in revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is based on what? On revelation. Christianity is a revelation. And if you want to re- if you want to be a Christian and remain a Christian, you must be walking with God by what? By revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say Amen. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I am enjoying the word of God. When you say that you are a Christian, it means that you must be saying that I've grasped the revelation and I'm gonna walk by what? By revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that Amen. revelation becomes a reality. It must become a reality. Amen. 
and it must be reality in your life. For example, this morning I went to clinic, I was preaching there. As I was as I was preaching there at the clinic. Okay, I see I'm talking about prayer. Some others were listening. I remember there was this other lady. She was supposed to go and she said that, oh, the pastor is here. Let us sit down. Take him to other friend. Let us sit down. I want to listen to him. But she was supposed to go. So let me see. Let, let us listen. Otherwise, I'm, I think I'm going. I don't know whether the other one came or what. But she sat down herself. She sat down there. I'm preaching. On the other side, this this other lady I'm seeing when I, the way she's looking at me, she's kind of like doubting. Okay, I'm preaching. When she's kind of like doubting, we do a salvation prayer. Others, are all, most of them are following. This one just closed her eyes. She's not confessing. I'm so, so oh, these young preachers. The other one on the other side, I see she's not. She's not confident, but most of the people who are there, they are receiving Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Amen. Comes the time of prayer to pray for God to bless us. Then there was a lady who held their back because of pain. This other young one, I don't know how she came here. I, I saw her sitting on the other side. But now, after prayer, the one who was holding the pain, the pain have disappeared. So, oh, this thing is real now. I see now even the one who was doubting. Just wake up now. Oh, this revelation is like it's true. This revelation is like it's real. Then when you are still mesmerized by the healing of this one, this young one, which I don't know now, where, how, when, oh, did she come when I was closing eyes when I was facing the other side? She's now telling that lady who was doubting, I could see that she was doubting, not confessing, that I, I was having a pain on my teeth, it's gone. I was having the pain, my, on my pain, is gone. On the other pain, the other one is gone. Then she, they begin to realize, oh, this revelation is real. Yes, the revelation is real. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I'm saying Amen. to you, this revelation is what? It's real. It's not Amen. fabricated. Amen. We are not trying to support it. Amen. Jesus Christ is real. Amen. Heaven is real. Amen. The supernatural is real. Amen. And we live in it. Amen. And we see it every day. Amen. We benefit out of it. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Is real. I remember there was this other lady who called yesterday. I was telling them this at the clinic. When this lady calls yesterday, she's saying that my older sister, this lady already is an older woman, around in her 50s, I'm sure. But she said, hey, her older sister is sick. It was the time of prayer last night, and you know, she's disturbing me, I'm praying. She's disturbing me, I'm praying, because I'm praying, it's the time for prayer. Then she says, her older sister is sick, but I said, oh, if the older sister is sick, now, I will, I will just take that few minutes to pray for the older sister. The older sister have gone to the doctors, but she, she's still sick. Complaining about the stomach. She's complaining about the headache. She's asleep. It has been days. Okay, don't worry. Give her the cell phone. That's what I said. I begin to talk to the older sister. I pray for the older sister over the phone. Pain in the stomach disappear. Headache disappear. She begin to walk around. She begin to walk around. Oh, pastor, where are you found? I said, <laughs> I'm online. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this revelation Amen. is what? Is real. If you tell someone that someone who is many, many kilometers away can be healed, they will think, ah, oh, physical, how is that possible? 
It's a revelation. It is what? It is called what? A revelation. And that revelation is working in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That revelation is giving her a job in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That revelation is protecting us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That revelation Amen. is causing everything to turn around for our good in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Christianity is a revelation. We live in a revelation. And that revelation is working in our lives. Amen. Through that revelation you are healthy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say my life is a revelation. My life is a revelation. My life is a revelation. I live in a revelation. Yeah. I live in a revelation. By revelation. By revelation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our life as a Christian is a revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Anyway, I want to say to us, can I say my day is blessed? My day is blessed. My, my family is blessed. My family is blessed. My career is blessed. My career is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our countries are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around for my good. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. Prosperity is mine. Prosperity is mine. Favor is mine. Favor is mine. Say devil. Take off your hands. Take off your hands. From my everything. From my everything. Say I lose angels now. I lose angels now. Angels. Angels. Bring my harvest. Bring my harvest. My miracles. My miracles. My testimonies. My testimonies. My jobs. My jobs. Angels. Angels. Usher me. Usher me. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. In everything that I do. In everything that I do. Represent me. Represent me. Present me. Present me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. I am, I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to say to us this morning, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning. Day and afternoon and night. Amen. Bye-bye.